Pluto, a far-off and baffling smaller planet, was once an individual member of our solar system's planetary family. However, later alarming declarations by leading astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku brought Pluto back into the spotlight with a stunning disclosure. They suggest that this frosty world is on a potential crash course with Neptune. But how could this happen and what might be the outcomes of such an enormous event? Are we witnessing an interesting cosmic phenomenon or is there something else to this looming infinite crash? Join us as we investigate the potential outcomes of a Pluto-Neptune collision. Pluto, a previous planet that was downgraded to a dwarf planet, partly due to its curious orbit, remains a subject of interest and study in the cosmic community. According to recent predictions by leading researchers, Pluto's trajectory is perilously close to Neptune's. Leading astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku are both raising the warning of a potentially dangerous crash between these two planets that could be an immense threat to Earth. Pluto's journey around the Sun is unlike any other planet in our nearby planetary system. It requires a stunning 248 years to complete a single orbit. This means that since its discovery in 1930, it hasn't even completed one full revolution. However, the interest doesn't stop there. Pluto's path is marked by its highly elliptical shape, diverging entirely from the nearly circular orbits of the major planets. Is its inclination calculated at 17 degrees to the ecliptic plane? The path Pluto follows is much steeper compared to the other planets. This inclination and eccentricity add layers of complexity to its orbital pattern. One of the most fascinating aspects of Pluto's orbit is its convergence with Neptune's. For around 20 years in each orbit, Pluto actually draws closer to the Sun than Neptune resisting what we might expect from their positions in the solar system. This leads to the natural question, why hasn't Pluto collided with Neptune? The study of Pluto's orbit began shortly after its discovery. Initially, astronomers struggled to grasp its unique path. Unlike the other planets whose orbits lie somewhat near the ecliptic plane, Pluto's orbit stood out with its steep inclination and eccentric shape. The mystery deepened with the realization that Pluto's orbit does indeed cross Neptune's. The stability of Pluto's orbit amidst these complexities is proof of the intricacies of celestial mechanics. The three-body problem in space involves figuring out how three objects such as Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun move and influence each other with their gravity. It's like trying to predict their paths based on where they start and how they pull on one another. In Pluto's case, this problem shows how its path, Neptune's path, and the Sun's gravity all cooperate in a complicated way. Terms like asymptotic libration, scope libration, and the VZK oscillation are part of this puzzle. According to astrophysicists, what's keeping all planets in their orbits is a kind of libration. Regarding Pluto and Neptune, this term means that whenever Pluto crosses Neptune's orbit, its position is always at least 90 degrees away from Neptune. This spatial separation is crucial in preventing their orbits from colliding. Scope libration, on the other hand, refers to the vertical movement of a celestial body in its orbit. For Pluto, this means that when it comes closest to Neptune or any other giant planet, it is positioned far above their orbital plane, offering an extra layer of protection from potential impacts. Another critical factor in this situation is the VZK oscillation. This is named after three researchers, Vov, Apple, LV, and Kai, who studied how things move in space, it's about how three space objects like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun pull on one another with their gravity. This pulling influences how they move. In Pluto's case, VZK helps us understand why its path around the Sun is so strange. Despite the apparent chaos, this oscillation helps keep Pluto's orbit stable for an extraordinarily long time. The VZK oscillation shows that even though things in space may seem wild and random, certain patterns and rules keep everything in place. All of these parts help keep Pluto's orbit stable, ensuring it doesn't collide with Neptune or stray off course. This three-body problem helps in understanding how these orbits change due to the way space objects pull on one another. Studying this helps us learn more about Pluto, our solar system, and distant stars and planets. Mathematical simulations in the late 1980s revealed that despite these stable properties, Pluto's orbit is actually turbulent with minor deviations in initial conditions leading to significant differences over millions of years. However, these unusual properties of Pluto's orbit have been found to maintain stability over incredibly long timescales, effectively keeping the chaos under control. Recent computer tests have helped us understand how the giant planets like Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn influence Pluto's orbit around the Sun. Neptune has a special relationship with Pluto, where for every two orbits Pluto makes around the Sun, Neptune makes three. This resonance helps keep Pluto's orbit stable. 
However, Neptune isn't the only one helping Jupiter's gravity, also plays a large part in protecting Pluto's orbit. What's more, Saturn helps overall too. These tests show that Jupiter's gravity alone is strong enough to ensure Pluto stays on a steady path for an extremely long period, possibly even billions of years. It's as if Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn are working together to ensure Pluto continues to move safely in space without running into trouble. These peculiarities are vital in the larger context of the universe for maintaining the order and consistency of celestial bodies' movement. Without these components the solar system as we know it would be a place of far greater turmoil and unpredictability. For Pluto particularly with discussions about it possibly colliding with Neptune in the future understanding its orbit is essential. This gives us a clearer picture of the solar system's dynamic nature. The case of Pluto illustrates how even the most seemingly unstable orbits can achieve a state of balance through the complex interaction of gravitational forces and orbital mechanics. It also shows the importance of constant observation and study of these phenomena to better grasp our place in the universe. Investigating the depths of space often leads us to confront the eccentric nature of celestial bodies and Pluto's orbit is a perfect example of this unpredictability. In conclusion, Pluto's orbit is a fascinating case study of the complex interplay of gravitational forces in the solar system. While its path is stable now the intricate dynamics between Pluto, Neptune, and the other planets mean that even the most seemingly stable orbits could change over time. As astrophysicists like Neil deGrasse Tyson continue to explore the mysteries of the universe, they help us better understand the delicate balance that governs the movements of celestial bodies. The potential for a Pluto-Neptune collision is not necessarily imminent, but it's a reminder of the constantly evolving and unpredictable nature of the cosmos. In addition to the scientific theories surrounding Pluto's orbit, it's important to consider the broader implications of these dynamics for our understanding of the solar system and the universe at large. While Pluto's journey is one of curiosity, it's also a reminder that the cosmos is full of hidden complexities waiting to be explored. While Pluto's current trajectory appears stable due to its resonance with Neptune and the protective gravitational influences of other planets, the long-term future of its orbit remains an area of active research. Over vast timescales, even small perturbations such as those caused by passing stars' rogue planets or shifts in the positions of gas giants could alter Pluto's orbit in unpredictable ways. One possibility that has intrigued astronomers is the gradual shifting of Neptune's orbit over millions or even billions of years. While Neptune's resonance with Pluto is currently stable slight variations in the solar system's gravitational balance could weaken this resonance potentially disrupting Pluto's predictable path. If this were to happen, Pluto could become more vulnerable to gravitational influences that might send it into a chaotic trajectory. Another fascinating scenario is the possibility that Pluto could be ejected from the solar system entirely. While this is highly unlikely in the near future, it is not impossible over long timescales. Interactions with Neptune, Jupiter, or even a passing star could provide Pluto with enough energy to escape the Sun's gravitational influence turning it into a rogue planet drifting through interstellar space. The ejection of Pluto would not only mark a dramatic change in the structure of our solar system, but could also provide valuable insights into how other planetary systems evolve. Astronomers believe that many exoplanets detected in deep space might have originated from systems where planets were gravitationally displaced similar to what could happen to Pluto under the right conditions. Pluto is part of the Kuiper Belt, a vast region of icy bodies that extends beyond Neptune's orbit. The Kuiper Belt plays a crucial role in shaping Pluto's orbit as well as the orbits of many other distant objects. Interactions between Pluto and other Kuiper Belt objects can create subtle gravitational tugs that slightly alter its path over time. Beyond the Kuiper Belt lies the Oort Cloud, a theoretical shell of icy bodies that surrounds the solar system at an immense distance. Occasionally, objects from the Oort Cloud can be perturbed by gravitational disturbances sending them hurtling inward toward the Sun. If a large enough object were to pass near Pluto, it could exert a gravitational influence that might shift Pluto's orbit slightly potentially affecting its long-term stability. While current orbital mechanics make a Pluto-Neptune collision highly unlikely, it's still worth exploring the hypothetical consequences. If such an impact were to occur, the results would be catastrophic on an astronomical scale. Size and impact energy Pluto has a diameter of about 2,377 kilometers, while Neptune is significantly larger with a diameter of 49,244 kilometers. If Pluto were to collide with Neptune, the immense energy released would likely vaporize Pluto entirely with debris scattering throughout the outer solar system. Neptune's thick atmosphere, composed primarily of hydrogen, helium, and methane, could experience significant disturbances. 
Depending on the angle and velocity of the collision, it might even strip away portions of Neptune's atmosphere, altering its climate and weather patterns. Formation of a new moon Some astronomers speculate that a collision between Pluto and Neptune could result in the formation of a new moon from the remaining debris. This has happened before in the case of Earth's moon, which is believed to have formed from a collision between Earth and a Mars-sized body billions of years ago. The importance of studying Pluto's orbit even though a Pluto-Neptune collision is unlikely studying Pluto's orbit remains essential for understanding the broader mechanics of our solar system. The principles governing Pluto's movements such as gravitational resonance perturbations and chaotic orbital dynamics are fundamental concepts that apply to planetary systems throughout the universe. By closely monitoring Pluto's motion astronomers can refine their models of how celestial bodies interact over time. This in turn helps us predict the behavior of exoplanets, identify potential planetary collisions in other star systems, and even assess the long-term stability of our own solar system. To gain a deeper understanding of Pluto's orbit and its interactions with Neptune future space missions may be necessary. The New Horizons mission which provided breathtaking images and data on Pluto in 2015 was a major milestone in planetary exploration however, there is still much to learn.